Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. Time to help New Jericho and I like it how kind of the others are saying F you for helping them because as if that would mean I wouldn't be helping, uh, as a, if that would mean I wouldn't be helping the others. Specifically think about it, when you get attacked I also help you. But okay, uh, that is just the logic of the game, I guess. We have a fully equipped team, not much that we need to change, so let's deploy and kill everything. Good, we landed yet again in a corner. Extraction zone is clear. We got a sniper in our side. And apparently another civilian. Not seeing the other New Jericho. <laughs> Starting the frenzy. Should that realm moves up. And jumps. Snipers are under our control. Okay, so we're going to take the middle. And by the way, there is the second operative. It's a heavy. Without frenzy, I can't fully reach the guy. So Ian is just waiting. Oiler moves up, shoots, disables the torso. Daily moves up, shoots, disables the head. Uh, besides, wait a second. Wrong weapon for an overwatch. Grail moves up <coughs> and kills him. Okay. End of turn. Proceeding. Got eyes on the Good, let's see what the enemies are going to do. If they are clustering up, that's even better. That 
but it's still frenzy came a little bit late I would say okay we got four enemies over here and one on the left hand side not sure if that really constitutes for a 15 force rating attack Okay, apparently there are a couple more. Oh yeah, there are a few more. to use level fours. Time to have a little bit of fun. One hit and a kill. One hit and a kill. Unfortunately, we're not killing with one hit. That's the biggest challenge. Okay, still got some movement left over. Want to use the maximum movement. Move. Hit. Okay, that sounds good. Now. Move. How many hit points? 165 and we're clocking 200 damage. Yeah, that's a kill. How can, oh, okay. All right, it's not a kill. Close, but not quite. But I tell you what. Move. 
hit. Kill. Not escaping the Phoenix. Move. Hit and kill. And we've cleaned up that entire side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All dead. into position I think it's a bit easier it's just move kill need to get some more damage on shattered realm yeah we didn't waste any ammunition and since we couldn't capture them, uh, I did not need to do anything fancy. All we needed was move up and clear the entire map. If you have enough movement, it actually becomes relatively simple. And I think it'll be good enough if we give Shattered Realm that one hand weapon. And we can give the two hand weapon then. Um, to the butcher who is potentially going to just one shot with the exception of big enemies literally everything okay easy enough trade trade and we're good our curiosity Still have enough stamina. We could go into the hive right away. Might as well do that. Oh, that's again Crook Haven. Yeah, these guys don't want to trade. They only have like really bad terms. Good. Over over time, the resource traits are adding up. I can see how it, how it just becomes more and more. Locate the spawnery and kill. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult, right? At the end of the day, it's the prime team. How much XP does inappropriate Murphy have at the point at this point? He's still getting really good experience. Although we're back to back in missions, he gets just as much experience. Keep in mind, every mission is around 40 to 50 XP. And he recently leveled and they only had two missions since so he's even getting more experience currently in his uh, in his current setup compared 
than what he would be getting if uh, he would be staying with them. In terms of manufacturing, I think we're okay. Could use a couple more of these guys, but <coughs> you could always use more. Let's deploy and see is there anything that we can get. JP Pauly. I think speed and willpower could be good. So a little bit more willpower here. Already at max speed, which means... And we have a ton of willpower. This thing here is just phenomenal. I wish... Can we build that? It, by the way, it says mutation, but it's not a mutation. Just wondering under armor. <coughs> no, we can't build it. seems to be a unique helmet I don't even know when we've uh, got it but it is the best helmet that I found so far it's really good might have been with um, with the first uh, with the first priest that we have gotten okay so do we want to give him more strength Maximum hit points and how far items can be thrown. But does not determine melee damage, interestingly enough. Look, I think at this point more hit points aren't bad. She needs more speed, but also more points in order to realize it. A bit more speed here. If we're getting closer to like 20 speed on all of them, that will help us because speed oftentimes determines, if you think about it, speed also indirectly helps you to deal more damage because if you only need to move one instead of two units, that means you have an action point left over to shoot or to deal damage. So speed is actually quite important uh, if you want to position, specifically since this time you do have like four um, action units instead of only two good we landed so where is that big fat juicy spawn ring looks almost like it's over here Moving up. Scouting an egg. Scrambling the egg. And moving on. I wonder, I mean, technically the spawner, uh, the spawnery could also be on the other side. Oops. 
What is this? The entire enemies are standing literally in there, waiting to get slaughtered. You must be kidding me, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, well... I guess it's fair to say that that side is clear. have a couple of terror sentinels I, I actually think the spawnery might be over there all right almost correct I love speed. It's such a great stat. Can't praise it high enough. And JP Poorly moves up as well. End of turn. Can capture a couple of enemies that would be great. That's a siren harboring and an instigator. I think one of them can uh, fear. So we might be uh, that might have been a lucky move for us. That she actually ran right into us. Okay, so one, two, three. On the other side, uh, what by the way? Immediate war cry. Moving up. And starting to hit her. Let's just use, use Onslaught, simpler, no mischance, more stun value.
Good. Both of, uh, both of them completely stunned. The enemies might run over here. That's fine. No problem for me. Moving in. Damn it. We're absolutely overloaded. Grell moves to here. So, there you go. Cool. So let's just stun her a little bit more. Maybe stun the other one also a bit more. That way don't we don't need to worry about uh, them waking up anytime soon. promise you he definitely says fuck you it's just in an alien distorted voice but he definitely says it Ian, the Butcher Owens, moves up, moves in. to very soon move in the other direction uh, in this direction so that they will just be following us and at an opportune time we're going to turn around and are either going to kill every single one of them or are going to paralyze them Oh, that's 16 rounds, 17 even. I do not foresee anyone 
being here in 17 rounds. So we're going to kill that. <sighs> the question is do we want to go there or are we just leaving through here? Pure killing, once we've damaged everything, we could do from here. Don't need to be all too close. Anyways, we'll figure that out as we go. We already got a good catch here. to give everyone frenzy again. and that's 20 rounds more than enough Good. Remember how I said at an opportune time I will be turning around and either killing all of you or severely paralyze you? Damn right, that opportune moment is right now. moves up and makes sure that everybody's war war screamed is there another oh he had another triton wonderful see on the bright side we're getting a lot of mutagen out of this the turret to die so instead let's just kill the enemy oh it's one of uh, the respawners well great
Good, more Overwatch, and whilst we're here, more Overwatch. Okay, end of turn. on me that I will need more hit points. If a random schmuck can... damage me that hard, something is awkwardly wrong. One. Two. Three. as well recover here pock pock Moves up. Let's first of all heal. We're going to cure the damaged body part next turn. Oh boy, we have a lot of captives. I think the reason why that dealt so much damage is because he's piercing armor. Good, end of turn. Fantastic, yet another Skrilla. Should've by that way killed this guy here. Okay, we need to deal with a few things. First of all, heal. And then full heal. Okay, cool. Secondly, take that, and that, and whilst we're at it, take that. One, two, three. 
and that. Okay, everybody here with the exception over of this guy over here is now sufficiently paralyzed, tranquilized. In many cases, it's so many rounds that they will not wake up anymore. One, two, Good, now the kicker. The actual target is over there and we haven't even looked at it yet. Good, Euler moves up as well. Good, end of turn. Another siren. Who would have guessed? One. Two, three, it's going to be either the most successful or the most failed mission ever. Good, let's continue with Onslaught. Done. And done. And by the way, since we only have so little willpower, we're going to focus here. to collect the turret we can't just leave it here good one two and i think we're good to go dash back good we We definitely need some sort of damage over here, and I know exactly who can do that. Grell is perfectly situated in order to do that. Good, end of turn.
we need to regain on several hour uh, of our characters I think a recovery turn would make sense JP moves up. Disable the body, who, uh, uh, which is now bleeding. Next turn we're going to unload this turn. It's all fun and games. Nah, can't hit it from here. Let's try to remove some of the obstacles. Good, nice. Now one round of uh, fully unloading and it should be dead, plus then we can move out. We got a very safe and secure position right here. One. Two, three, and we're already going a little bit uh, on our way back. Mark for death, confirm. Which now means uh, this all, all of the shots here should deal way, 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 way more damage. Yep, that's almost 500 right there. Okay, cool. Well, we do have uh, the action points to go through with it. And since the turret is dealing so much damage, might as well just continue unloading. It's funny, everybody's always channeling on one person. Retrieve the turret. Thank you. Shattered Realm moves up. Moves up even a little bit further. Good. 
good and the name of the game now is to simply get out of here we have so many paralyzed enemies unbelievable And it seems that the enemies are not spawning anymore because the game apparently believes that we're still in combat with all of them. Normally everything around there is another enemy respawning. But that's not the case this time. At least I'm not seeing any. moves up I think we can get everyone out uh, this turn thanks to our enormous speed of turn and we're going to heal and then we're going to leave this forsaken place here what a mission don't have enough uh, we don't have enough uh, will points anymore but that's okay look I think overall it was a good mission doesn't matter that Grell is missing 20 hit points my takeaway I need to still upgrade hit points these soldiers are too valuable to die and the mere circumstance that with armor penetration a random triton from close up mind you so he was hitting the entire salvo but the mere fact that he could injure us and got us down to 20 percent that's not acceptable we need more hit points okay so how many enemies did we really recover Containment. By the way, research. Sonic influence. Finally. That took a while. Let's prioritize uh, that research. Here, that's the siren that can also fear. Oh, we got two of them. And just look at the amount of mutagen that we do have. Fantastic. Which brings us all the way down to the guys that need mutagen. Very 
Very good. Uh, you are an assault. Well, good for you. You'll get the standard package. Infiltrator. Good for you. You'll get the infiltrator package. So far so good, by the way, you definitely could benefit from a little bit more explosives. And kit, the doubter. Okay, so what I would want to do in terms of manufacturing is one heavy armor. And then we need a few helmets and I know exactly what we need. One, two. Second team, tier number two. Good, they do have decent helmets. Great, good for them. Just realized, by the way, that the last group here doesn't have a technician. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Wanted to spec into one. And maybe you will become the technician because you're the only one with a torso that is still intact. So let's make you the technician. What a crude choice, heavy plus technician. But it might, uh, it might actually work out reasonably well. So in terms of manufacturing, that's the other armor that we need. Tech Ops body armor and the arms. One of those as well. But yeah, one of the arms. And we can definitely use one of those. Cool, we've officially killed everything here, which means now that we are done with that, let's move over here to let our soldiers regain some more stamina and also pick up Murphy. Okay, more trading. Just, it would be great to see or to have a better picture from the outside who is um, still having resources and where can you continue to trade. Because as it stands, that seems to be an important part. I wonder why the developers forgot slash failed to implement that properly. It's once again one of these like finicky things. Of course you can do it like that and simply 
say the player needs to go through that and look into every single haven but the question is would there have been a better way of doing it a more fun way the user interface in this game definitely is noticeably noticeably weak and by weak I mean there are parts that are good about it but the majority is very fiddly you need to really 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 look into every little detail without a real necessity to do that I think I was here already or just coming back around we need to do is continue to trade 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 that's another crew haven these guys here are on the far end of the world and they still refuse to give you good prices for what you're looking for I tell you what no trade then Okay, let's continue to trade. I mean, we're just flying over and trading. It would have been also cool to automate that. But apparently, like the philosophy of this game is a good player, quote unquote, is one that micromanages like everything. And I tend to disagree with that assessment. Like, it doesn't need to be like ultra easy where all you click is one button and then everything's fully functional and automated and you never ever need to check back on it. But a good game, in my perspective, gives you meaningful options where you need to make tough decisions. And at the same time, it does not require you to slow it literally down to a grinding halt just so that you can optimize the resource production because there is no own production you are basically a running merchant and are trying to service 80 different colonies and it might be just me maybe i'm maybe there is like this huge feature that i just haven't found yet Leave a comment in a section down below if you have a better idea. So, psychic damage values are halved. Hmm. That isn't bad. I like what I'm seeing. Is it better than the others? Hmm. I find the mist uh, repeller a quite neat option because it gives you the 
opportunity to just yeah ignore mist Good. Next big task is team number five needs to get inappropriate Murphy to the highest level. And once that has happened, we can finally leave the United States and head straight home to Europe slash Africa, where Phoenix Point has been located. There are plenty of missions waiting for us and now let's take a look into inappropriate Murphy. That's not bad. Keep in mind last time we checked he was at 150 now he's almost at 300. So things are actually working out rather nicely. Yeah, it's one of those crew cavens. I wish I could mark them. It's always the Synhydrins that are the crooks. Good. Let's just uh, give uh, the team number one the chance to regain their stamina. I think we can play uh, speed that up just a tiny bit. No, that's crew cave, and I can already see that. Research complete. Cool. What are these handguns? Um, acid damage. Still haven't found out what acid does. But that deals almost no damage. But as it seems to reduce the armor, so maybe it is good, I don't know. I don't know, I don't feel like manufacturing them right now. Trading is crazy. If you're thinking about just how much money we're making from it, wow. Advanced asset technology and even more advanced asset technology. Wow, we still have so much to research. Holy. Like I said, it's always the Synhydrin. Once again, not a really good trading option. But we have found a few more question marks. Nice. Yeah. 
four for six. Thank you. Research complete. New Jericho flamethrower. That one looks good. Really good. Ammo capacity, action points two. Range very limited, but that looks really good. We got new recruits. I don't think that we need any more. I think we're good. We're saving for that uh, mm, biological vehicle now. So out of curiosity, how much is he now? Almost 400. Wow. That is indeed really fast. Let's finish that Fury 2. I don't know, do, you, do we need another vehicle? I don't think so. Construction complete. Two for twelve sounds good. Good, we got new enemies. <clears throat> They now have the jump ability, okay. Yeah, it seems as if the smaller ones are now evolving. And we're being attacked over here. Well, great. Manticore 3. Where is Manticore 1? Down here. Good. We're moving towards the Auricalcum Forge. attacking now I still haven't completely figured out what the pattern is it seems pretty random Okay, well, I sure hope that good old inappropriate Murphy soon gets his stuff together. Oh, it's the fastest way of leveling him. Good. Let's continue to trade while we're on our way over here. Want to go to that f um, forge there?
By the way, have I missed any of the additional items? I'm seeing a couple of question marks now coming uh, back up. Again, this is like super fiddly. The game is not telling you that there are new sites somewhere. You either stumble upon them or you don't. Like that's it. Crew of Helios 5, fully healed and rested. One, and you take that direction. Okay, cool. I wish there was a mid-section between super slow and normal. Super slow is a bit too slow. And normal is unfortunately already a little bit too uh, too quick. Two for twelve is fine. I tend to not trade two for ten anymore. On the flip side, the whole trading definitely helps out, so maybe there is value in a Helios uh, that just flies down in the United States. I've seen one of those uh, Armadillo ground vehicles. They were awesome. Haven't really used a lot of vehicles yet. Wait, what? Okay, so... Manticore 8, where is your partner in crime? We got another attack. Not good. The aliens seem to ramp up their attack patterns. And it's funny that they just arrived there when we also arrived. Mission came out of nowhere. Manufacturing is empty at this point. Fire resistance. Ooh, that is good. I would love to have a bit more fire resistance. Even more than I would like to have uh, explosion resistance. So. I built a few heavy armor suits. A little green theoretically should be able to get that. Oh, I built assault body armor. My bad. There you go. I wanted to build heavy armor. But the assault armor is not um, wasted. Very good. Switched out the helmets for everyone.
Good. Where? What else did we need? Um, distinctly remember we had quite a few people not uh, with Sanhedrin helmets. Specifically looking for uh, technicians that do not have any proper armor. Dranks could use a cool repeller. Let's build a couple of those as well. Okay, this team here, that's uh, the Delta team, the one that we modified a little bit different than the others. Technician, but can't use uh, the technician armor. I think a normal Phoenix helmet for her is better. There's the technician I was looking for. Very good. It's also heavy at the same time. And here are all of the guys that need helmets. Okay. So you are berserkers. Accuracy. I think we're just going with plain old armor. Infiltrator needs a stealth helmet. As long as uh, these are not slowing them down, could also give them just really heavier helmets. He's not necessarily stealthy. Berserker. Uh, not the golem legs, they are really bad. Standard uh, Phoenix legs are good. Good enough. Okay, so I think we have equipped almost everyone. Was there not a single heavy that needed mounts? Because I really like 
uh, the rocket mount. Fortunately, it only works on heavy armor. Okay, that's a big plus. I'm just double checking, no further heavy that needs it. Good. Our resources are looking better and better. Search the barn. Take in materials. Thank you. wanted to fly up here because it's only 14 more hours so we better get there in time two attacks are happening at, at the moment and one of them is exactly this here which we need to attend to i'll prepare the forces and we see each other in the next episode i know this was a long one but um it's just i'm trying to get uh, my head around uh, the end game here it's a lot of management just to get all of the resources, equip all of the troops, use the resources to manufacture properly. And it constantly feels like you're missing something. Good. If you don't want to miss something, uh, then now is a good time to remember clicking that sweet, sweet like button. See you in the next episode and have a lovely day. Bye bye.